after you got your record contract, you got all sad and depressed and stuff. What's going on? You should be happy. Yeah. After I got signed, my life just got filled with negativity. Yes, life has its swings. And if you're assigned, well, life could be a lot more negative. Today, we're going to look at integers. And um, in the real world, integers is any whole number that you can think of, positive or negative. But in the world of computers, that is not entirely true because we do have some limitations and uh, we're going to explore some of them today so that you know how to avoid them and figure out what's wrong if you get some strange errors. So let's have a look at today's little test script. And as always, if there's something I'm missing, some important information that should be here, then just write it in the comments below and uh, We'll add it later, okay? If you look at the documentation, you can see that the uh, integer range from uh, minus a really large number to a positive almost, almost at large number. And um, these are the numbers we have to play with. Uh, if you need a bigger number, you need to make something else than an integer. All right, great. Now, um, let's go back to the code. So I take this and I'm going to try to increment it by one. And then we're going to see what result we get out of that. I'm going down here to try uh, fractions, see what happens if we run fractions. Um, trying to uh, turn strings into numbers. So I've added a few strings. I'm not sure if there's some other strings I need to test here. Perhaps you have an idea. I'm also playing a little bit with how dates and integers play together. Um, then we're going to look at operator precedence because some languages have a operator precedence where kind of division and multiplication is done before addition and uh, subtraction. But in Dataflex, that is not the case. You need to be aware of this so that you make sure you get the parentheses uh, into the uh, calculations. Otherwise, you'll end up with some wrong numbers. And uh, Dataflex and Smalltalk is uh, actually doing the same thing. Uh, and APL and J actually has the reverse version where they go right to left instead of left to right. Uh, but most other languages do have operator precedence with plus and um, minus and multiplication. Then we we'll look at the size of integers in tables because when you define a column, you can set an integer and then you can set a size here. And my intuition said that one, that must be one byte or something. So that is up to four, or up to eight or what have you. And B, that is 2, so maybe that is 16 or something like that. And 10 would then be way larger, uh, but based on 2. Um, but that is not the case. Uh, and uh, you'll see when we run the application in just a few seconds. Um, so I'm doing a few tests here, and I'm also trying the largest integer in the database and trying to to see if I can go beyond that. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So let's run the application. And here you can see trying to max out the integer, we actually get to the lowest number available if we add one to the largest. So. It's just doing a binary add, which makes us end up at the end of the list. Um, nothing weird about that, but it's th that's how computers work um, with bits and bytes, you know. Then uh, 
turning fractions into integers, uh, these all turn to 3. Um, and that's because everything behind the um, uh, point or comma is just discarded. And uh, turning strings into integers, this is a little bit odd. I'm not sure why. Maybe you can explain it. Uh, 7266 for almost every every string that it cannot figure out to convert. If it's a number, then it turns into a number. So that's fine. And then the empty string turns into zero. Good to know. Um, and dates turn into these numbers. And uh, as you will see, as we go down, you can actually add two to a number and it will work as an integer. So there is some connection between the date and an integer. That's nice, uh, makes it easy to work with. Um, but if we put one as a date, you get 2102. But if I put uh, turn 2102 into an integer, I get this 730501. Um, so there seems to be like this 730500. That's some kind of magic number to cope with dates before uh, 2000 or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that's that what it look like, looks like. Um, and then we have the operator precedence. If I type 1 plus 2 times 3, it's nine what uh, because one plus two is three and three times three is nine but if we actually want this to be seven as we would expect from regular math uh, precedence then we need to add the parenthesis here and it will calculate correctly looking at the tables if you have an integer of size 1, then it seems to mean that you only have one number in that table. So it can go from 0 to 9, but it can also go from 0 down to minus 9. So it's like minus 9 to 9, one number. And if you set 2, then you have the similar way up to 99, you have two numbers instead. And three numbers, it looks like you have, it's the number of numbers in your table uh, or in your column in the database. But when we have 10, we're actually at the limit of what the system can handle. So we will not be able to get up to all nines because when we get to this magical binary number, that is the maximum number we can use in an integer, it stops there. You cannot add any more uh, integers to the database because you get an error. Um, and if you compare this to the sizes of, uh, for example, MSSQL, you can see that um, they have something called a big int that can handle a lot larger numbers. Uh, you have the int and you recognize the number the int, um, which is four bytes in this case, does have this um, number the same as we have in, in Dataflex here. And then you have the small int, which is 32,000, and you have the tiny int, which is 255 as the maximum number you can use. So that they are not 100% correlated and mapped up to each other. And this is something you need to be aware of. So if you have a table of size four, for instance, it should not be defined as a tiny int in the database because then you don't have enough numbers in the database. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you today. And um, I hope this was um, somewhat enlightening, uh, perhaps some of it at least. Um, and... Um, We'll see each other again next week, I guess. See you then. Bye-bye.